All right, here we go, you guys. It is 445, May 20th. God bless you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is a clip on final days, and I just want to show you the things that are coming on the earth, okay? And a lot of people don't realize these chemtrails and what they're not saying, okay? Every day for reassurance on how God protects his faithful remnant of believers from plagues, wrath, and judgments. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life and escape. Now, look at the dates. You see how Earth is well in this asteroid field already in June. Okay, let's back it up just a touch. There's the Earth right there, and you can see these. And here we are in mid-May. Mid-May. These next few screens will tell you... The end of May, just before June. This is why you're starting to see it. ...how to accept Christ into your life and escape the coming judgments. All of June... And into July. Simply pause the screens if you need more time. Mid July, it looks like. To read the text. Yeah, when it might clear up. But you can clearly see these things. A little chilly for swimming, obviously, just still. These clouds, by the way, when you see these little contrails that come off of uh, planes that are going by, that's just a little bit of ice crystals in the uh, very high altitudes of the atmosphere. These are... See how they call them ice crystals? They won't tell you the truth. I had a dream Serious showing... Clouds. These are... I had a dream showing where these people are nothing more than puppets. But anyhow, they're going to be, they'll say anything and everything just to get you to think what they want you to. Place yeah. goes, get a look at this. I want to show you this. This is the radar image. Here, they're going to tell you it's a military operation. In the past three hours, and this is from more than likely military exercises uh, going out in a designated area off the coast of Key West now. What they do is they sometimes throw some uh, materials in the air that are supposedly not toxic. And it Hear that? Supposedly non-toxic. It does uh, show up on the radar. What they use it for is deflecting radar beams for uh, disguising themselves. They're usually ships or aircraft in this case. And you can see that this is just not a rain pattern uh, that you would normally expect with a frontal system. Now, the visible satellite... Now, here... You're going to clearly hear these guys talk about what they're going to be doing, spraying the skies, trying to reflect the heat. Now, you guys know for years we've heard about the ozone problem. Well, they don't talk about the ozone problem anymore because if they did, they would have to get you to see and tell you what they're really doing. Decision. I made a decision, or there was a collective decision, to do a geoengineering program, and you put, say, uh, the kind of program I think makes more sense, we put about a million tons a year in them, let's say. You might end up killing many tens of thousands of people a year as a direct result of that decision. In 2018, scientists will take bold steps to explore a technology that could reverse the effects of climate change. It's an engineering project that would literally touch every living thing on the planet. They're looking at ways to reflect sunlight back into space and cool down the Earth. Geoengineering is the pioneering science that could well be on everyone's lips in 2018. The idea of geoengineering is the idea that humans purposefully influence the climate of the planet. Solar geoengineering specifically is the idea of introducing a substance into the stratosphere that will cool down the planet by reflecting back sunlight. If we turn down the sun a little bit, that brings the Earth's energy more into balance, and that could reduce some of the risks like extreme storms or extreme temperatures. Exactly. Okay, so what do we do? So the other thing is horrifying. It is that you could actually spray sulfuric acid in the stratosphere 20 kilometers over our head and use that to stop the planet warming up. And it's okay, an ugly you, tech fix. You can, you can spray something into the atmosphere to yes. change. Okay, spray okay. pollution into the atmosphere to stop it warming. I made a decision, or there was a 
collect a decision to do a geoengineering program, and you put, say, on the kind of program I think makes more sense, we put about a million tons a year in them, let's say, you might end up killing many tens of thousands of people a year as a direct result of that decision. Okay. One last thing here. Now, this is somebody here, you guys. They These people are on board meetings. Now, you got to remember, Jesus is the words he said. There's nothing hidden that won't come abroad, okay? All these things are being revealed. Just like when you hear people saying, we're sitting every day. Everybody does. Yes, we did, and we're now ashamed of the things we did. We've repented of our sins, and we can say this because... It's the truth. Now, you're going to hear people saying things that they don't understand it, but they have to say it. This is the time we're living in, you guys. The battle is being fought. One family, one physician, one health center. That's why we're doing as well as we are. We're talking about the minority and strategies mm -hmm. against the minority. So I have the solution. Every study published in the last five years, when you look at vaccine refusers, I'm not talking about, well, hesitants, most of them we can talk into coming to terms, but refusers. We'll just get rid of all the whites in the United States because Washington is the most diverse city in the entire United States. There are seven Asian languages spoken in that city. I've been a minority for more than 20 years in the city of Houston, the, the majority is we call Hispanic. That is not a race or an ethnicity. That is a political designation. But a lot of them are from Central, South America, Mexico. Guess who wants to get vaccinated the most? Immigrants. Part of it. That's what made Donald Trump's comment about bringing Immigrants. Better vaccination it, rates in Mexico. it is the well-educated, <laughs> in terms of pieces of paper that they put on their wall, um, people that have been here a long time, and it's very unfortunate. And But I think we need not lose. What do you think? These chemtrails, you could kill tens of thousands of people. Tens of thousands. <laughs> but it's not making the news anymore, is it? They don't talk about the ozone problem either, do they? You see what I'm saying, you guys? The reason why they don't talk about the ozone problem is because they don't want you to see what they're doing, okay? Just like these vaccine shots, everything they're gonna be doing, what they're planning to do. <clears throat> we know how it's gonna go. But it's just not a lot of us are gonna know, you know? Few of us, the Lord wants us to be aware. <clears throat> He's shown me clearly everything that's coming, everything that's gonna happen. And it's a spiritual warfare, you guys. These spirits are everywhere. They've always been here. What does scripture say? Somebody asked me about the spirits. They said their pastor um, said if they even believed anything like that, that they would be damned. Let me tell you something, man. <clears throat> the scripture says, test all spirits. They don't tell you that, do they? They don't warn you about these things, about getting control of your vessel. Okay, you guys, this is a spiritual warfare, okay? This is why many people can't see right now. This is why um, Satan, they won't even tell you Satan's a prince of this world. You guys, you got to be very careful at this time. Yeah, those are all vapor trails. Let me show you. Those are all vapor trails. That's the stuff they're spraying. That's what I wanted to show you in that little clip. It's all around us, you guys. That's what all that is. And now that clip was several 2018. They were talking about it. 2018. 
So there's a lot going on here. A lot more than everybody knows. And uh, just be ready, you guys. Be bold. Be strong. We don't have to have a spirit of fear. We know how it ends. The Lord already told us. Straight is the way, and few be there that make it, okay? And it said, don't let these days come upon you unaware. And no flesh would have survived had he not intervened early. You see, that's why we're seeing what we're seeing. And that's why they're coming out trying to say we're conspiracy theorists. Because we're just a handful. That's it. Five are wise. Five are foolish. Because even if we had the other foolish that were coming out, being bold as they ought to be, that's what scripture says, not lukewarm, you know, um, denying, not even wanting to speak up. Many of these pastors, they're afraid of losing their 501Cs. If they're not the enemy, you guys, I mean, they're, it's test all spirits, okay? Don't have a spirit of fear. We don't love our lives here. Um, we don't love what's in the world, as Scripture says. Luke 4.4, 4, love not the world or the things that are in it. And if you do, you're the enemy of God. Remember now, they killed Jesus Christ. And he was betrayed with a kiss, too. Don't think that they won't betray you with love, either, if they did it to our Lord. Okay? The enemy's very real, you guys. I've been having attacks by him for years. Um, we don't have to be afraid of him, though. You know, greater is he that abides in us than what is in the world. Okay? Scripture says that. Greater is he. Now, um, singularly, single girl, that you asked me about that. Greater is he that abides in you than what is in the world. Okay, and it also says you have angels around you. Okay, so I mean, your pastor that said that, let me tell you, there's a lot of wolves in sheep's skin. In other words, these are spirits, wolves that are in sheep skin. These are spirits. God bless you in the name of our sweet Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.